Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Greedfall. So in today's episode, I think I would like to continue with one of my companion missions. As a matter of fact, I think I would like to continue God's quest. Because, I mean, he has been waiting the longest now, I suppose. Plus, we're here in New Serene still, so I guess we can just continue it um, right here. And, um, yeah, I guess I need to talk to him again before I do that. And I may want to exchange my team a little bit, maybe. I mean, obviously, I do need Kurt, um, but how about we take along Petrus? I don't know, he hasn't been in my party for a while, so he can come along for this. And I guess we gotta talk to Kurt now. Greenblood, my friend. My contacts have spoken. I was able to discover the location of this infamous phantom training camp. Do you still think they should be held accountable? More than ever. You know that I recruited Rainer. I want to know what kind of hornet's nest I led him into. I want to know what these madmen did. But I fear if I go alone, I might not be able to control myself. And I won't learn anything. I need the help of my best student. Well, uh, that would be me, I suppose. Sure, let's accept. How can I refuse such a request? Well then, let's go. How many students did you have, though? I mean, is it an accomplishment to be the best one? And yeah, I will keep this team. Go to the Ghost Regiment's camp with Kurt. Oh, it's a camp, so it's not here in New Serene? Um... Well, apparently it's not. It's in Wenshaganau. And I'm not sure if I have been here before. As a matter of fact, I don't think I have. Um, so can I still fast travel to that location? East Road. So I guess I'm just going to travel right to the entrance of that region. Okay, that's fine with me. And yeah, I need to take a quick break in my camp. Also, you may notice that Kurt has a giant hammer now as a weapon. <laughs> I don't remember finding that weapon, but it was in my storage. So, I don't know, I guess it's some kind of bonus that you get for one reason or another. I just found it in my storage in my residence. And it is a pretty powerful weapon. But Athena can't wear it herself because it requires like level 3 strength and I focused her more on agility. However, Athena has a new weapon as well, a new um, sword that goes uh, well with her agility. So um, I gave that little tiny weapon I found a while ago to um, Ciara instead. Okay, here we go. The Singing Waters. And yeah, I have not been here before. Um, okay, this is where I have to go. So, as usual, let's try to visit a few landmarks on our way. I just want to collect the stuff over here. Can you please do that without freaking out, camera? Thank you. <laughs> Okay, um, got the usual kind of fauna around here. To my health and death to the okay, um, I mean, they don't seem to be any stronger than the usual Move kind away. of animals. Things are about to get dicey. May the shadow engulf our enemies. And with my brand new sword, this should be really easy. Yep, look at that. That's a real sword. Not that tiny little knife I found in those ancient ruins. I think that one is better suited for Ciara. Also, I can actually upgrade this one, um, Ciara's weapon, or the one that is now Ciara's weapon, cannot be upgraded. Okay, um, are we still on the right path? Uh, well, I guess if I want to reach the camp, I have to take this road. Even though it 
probably doesn't lead me to the camp over here. I'm going to assume it's a camp. I mean, most of these landmarks are camps. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going to ignore that for now. And how did I manage to get turned around here? Seriously, how can I be so bad at navigating this place? This is not even like a full open world. It's just narrow passages and roads. I still somehow managed to get turned around. Okay, this is the right way now. Yeah, I, I could really use a mini-map in this game. I think that would help me to not get lost quite as often. Okay, and now I need to go to the right at the next opportunity. Oh, um, what is attacking? Oh, um, just a few animals. All right. I can deal with that. Move away! Things are about to get dicey. May the shadow engulf our enemies. You guys really need to think about getting a new tagline. Try to mix it up every now and then. This is the right way, right? Yes, it is. Okay. So, um... Can we just walk in here? I mean, it's... A ghost regiment, so it's not really legal. It's also locked. No, it's not. I can open it. Well, I guess I'm just going to walk right into it. I was informed of your arrival by my sentinels, but I didn't think it would be you, Kurt. Rolf! You're the leader of this camp. You two know each other. We train together. We haven't seen each other in a long time. A very long time. The world of warriors is very small, Kurt. What brings you here, my old comrade? And who are these people with you? They're not one of us. My name is de Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. And I am Bishop Petrus. May the enlightened guide you. These people sure are important. So? What are you doing here? I've heard things about this place. About this very special camp. And we wanted to see what it was all about with our own eyes. That's very nice of you, but visitors aren't welcome in this camp. What goes on here is only the guards' business. Does the same apply to me? <sighs> Listen, Kurt. I can give you and your friends some answers, but only because it's you. Anyway. Knowing you as well as I do, I'm aware I'm not going to get rid of you that easily. So, what would you like to know? Well, let's see. What can we ask? Ask him about the camp's purpose. Find out about the site's organization. Ask about the training we received here. I mean, I have to admit, I'm still slightly confused about the whole deal and purpose of the coin guard. When I saw them for the first time back in New Serene, I thought they were just like the army of the merchant congregation. And since, you know, it's the merchant congregation and even their coat of arms has like coins on it, um, it made sense that the army would be called the coin guard, right? Um, but then I noticed that you can find them in basically any city. So I guess they're more like mercenaries and they work for whoever just pays them. I guess that's more uh, like it. But yeah, um, let's uh, ask a few questions here. What is it you do here? And why is this place kept secret, even from your comrades in the guard? The natives have their magic, and we have to train elites to be able to face them. That's what we're doing here. Our role is sensitive, and our location obviously cannot be revealed to the whole island. I see the reason for this kind of training. The Bridge Alliance would be particularly interested in soldiers like these. And yet I've never heard of this 
elite squadron. We're still in the early stages of the program. We don't want to rush things. And our leaders demand secrecy. Orders are orders. Okay, so you're just training for some unknown purpose. Or at least a purpose you don't want to tell me. So, tell me about the site's organization. This is a huge camp for such a secret location. How is it organized? The main building is reserved for officers and the wounded. The front and rear of the camp are dedicated to combat training. But most exercises take place outside. Impressive. And how do you manage recruitment? Only the best come here. Those who have combat experience. Once they arrive, they're separated into two squadrons, each led and trained by a lieutenant. But you already know all of this, Kurt. It must bring back memories. Yes. Meaning what exactly? Yeah, tell me more about this training. Will you tell us about your training? That's a sensitive topic. Most exercises take place in the field to get the men used to it. The natives' knowledge of the environment gives them as much of an advantage as their magic. But if you want to know more, you should ask my lieutenant instructors. So you're training specifically to fight the natives? Because that's the second time he mentioned the natives and their magic, so... Hmm... Okay, yeah, let's talk about uh, the elephant in the room here, Reyna's death. Actually, we found out about this camp while we were looking for someone. A kid I recruited. Reyna. Oh. I didn't know he was one of yours. My condolences. I was told he died in an accident in the harbor. Yeah, not really. Don't insult my intelligence, Rolf. <sighs> All right. Since you're here, I guess there's no point in lying to you anymore. The accident occurred during a maneuver. It's regrettable. But these things happen, you know? We've taken up enough of your time, Captain. I agree, and I have things to do. I'd like to question your lieutenant instructors, if you don't mind. To ask them about Rayner. You've become a real sap. <sighs> Fine. But try not to disrupt the day's schedule too much. Goodbye. I'm sorry. I couldn't contain my anger. <laughs> I noticed. Good thing you know this captain so well. I don't think he would have let us investigate otherwise. I'm not sure it's a good thing, really. Your aversion is clear. But is it him that you hate? Or what the camp represents, my son? Rolf doesn't bring back good memories for me. But let's continue. I want to know what's going on here. Okay, uh, what do you suggest we do next? Question the instructors, right. And I think I see one of them right over here. So, uh, let's talk. Lieutenant! Respectfully, Captain. Here is my friend, the legate of the merchant congregation. She would like to ask you a few questions. At your orders. I'm listening, sires. Okay, again, we have quite a few questions here, so tell me about your squadron. How do the various squadrons in this camp differ from one another? The recruits I train are intended to carry out more subtle actions. Really? What kind? I teach them how to blend into the background, understand customs, observe, and know when to strike. That's strange. These skills are normally associated with assassins rather than soldiers. Mm -hmm. These skills are always useful, regardless of the enemy or the setting. Okay, um, that might be true, but it's still very suspicious. So tell me more about the training. What kind of training do your men undergo? I can't go into details, but they learn discipline and to outdo themselves. You mean to blindly follow orders, even to their death? But I... <laughs> no, Captain. We also teach them to analyze situations so that they know when to act to avoid risking their lives. Kurt, you're getting angry again. Uh, let me carry out this interrogation. So, how did you get here? How did you become an instructor in this camp? I have led numerous squadrons before, and I've trained hundreds of recruits on the continent. I worked with Captain Rolf in the past, and when I arrived on the island, he recommended me for this position. That's very impressive. And I expect that you're familiar with the natives' environment and magic. Yes, yes, of course. Hmm. So, um, I have a few options here now. 
Ask for details about her squadron. Yes, I have asked all of that already. And now I can use my charisma. And again, my charisma is um, high enough to basically get uh, an answer out of everyone, apparently. So uh, let's use that. Kurt, don't you think that someone this talented fits what we're looking for? <laughs> you see, we need to find someone who can replace Kurt to oversee my cousin's security. Your cousin is a governor of New Serene, I've heard. It's a prestigious position. I don't doubt my abilities, but an offer like this, made so suddenly, must have a price. We can't hide anything from you. We're trying to find out what happened to Reyna, a recruit who trained here. That name doesn't sound familiar. He must have been in the Shadow Squadron. The other Lieutenant Squadron? Yes. I'm sorry, haven't been much use to you. Did something happen to him? He died. His body was thrown into the harbor to make it look like he drowned. I guess it was one of your recruits. My condolences, Captain. We'll question some of your soldiers. At your orders, but please be quick. I'd like to get on with training. Okay, so I guess after the instructor, we're now going to question the recruits. Um, so I need to get down here, I suppose. Let's see, um, how do I do that? All right, here we go. Wow, you are taking uh, your training seriously. There's blood all over the floor. I'm impressed. Uh, let's talk to this guy, Wilhelm. I noticed that all of the Koingard people have like German names, apparently. Soldier, Captain, at ease, soldier. So, uh, let's question you. Discuss his training with him, yes. We'd like to learn more about your training. I have nothing to say about it, my lady. Really? Go on, it's not a difficult question. What do you do during training? Is this a test, Captain? <laughs> no, it's not a test. You may speak freely. Well, training is difficult, but we can't complain, Captain. Hmm. That's an interesting way to phrase it. Um, well, that didn't really tell me much. So, tell me about your squadron. You're very united in this squadron. At least, that's what I've been told. United? You could say that, yes. Until death. That's rather sinister. Does the name Reyna sound familiar to you? Yeah. Uh, well, no, not really. You seem rather hesitant. Afraid of being reprimanded by your lieutenant? No. Well, not at all. It's just that I can't tell you anything about Recruit Reyna. And we're lucky to have the lieutenant as our instructor, Captain. We should leave this soldier to hmm. his work. Your name, soldier? Wilhelm. Uh, first class recruit Wilhelm, Spectre Squadron. Keep it up, Wilhelm. This recruit, Wilhelm, in spite of himself, led on more than the others. His resentment is clear. But he won't divulge anything as long as his instructors are nearby. Okay, so how can we talk to him without his instructors nearby? Because, I mean, they've all been talking. But they've not really been saying much of usefulness. So, uh, we have another recruit over here we can talk to. Hello, soldier. Captain. We need information. Your instructor authorized us to question you. Of course, madam. I'm listening. Um, again, let's talk about the training. How would you describe your training? Do you train outside the camp much? Yes, we do. Well, not exclusively. Really? Yet we've been told that your unit specialized in actions over difficult terrain. Uh, yes, I think so. Well, yes, that's true. Problems remembering things, soldier. No, Captain. Um, he's apparently not sure what he is allowed to say and what not. <laughs> so, what about your squadron? What's it like in your squadron? Very good. The Phantom Squadron is made up only of the very best. Do you trust your comrades? We're like five fingers on one hand, madam. I would trust them with my life. You've sure got the military spirit. Yes, Captain. Okay, what's up with these names? Spectre Squadron? Phantom Squadron? Are you training for some kind of covert operation? Um, let's talk about accidents, sure. We've learned that a recruit died in an accident during a maneuver. Does this happen often? Uh, no. Of course not. Only to those who aren't strong enough. That's strange. 
I was told that this recruit was very talented. I... I, I don't know what to tell you. It's possible. If you don't mind, I'd like to get back to my training. He seems afraid that an accident might befall uh, him too. Maybe? No, it's not that. I just don't want to fall behind schedule. Very well. Go on. Excellent. Captain? These kids are scared to death. Yes. This boy's answers about his training seem pretty dubious to me. He can't hide the lies. Yeah, he seemed indeed rather nervous. Um, okay, so apparently can't talk. Any more recruits? So let's go back and talk to the instructor again. Um, no, this is not the person that I need to talk to. No, I go over here. Oh, it's a different instructor. Right. Let's go. Lieutenant. Captain. My friend here would like to learn more about this camp. At your orders, Captain. Madam? Let's see, we have the usual questions about the squadron and the training, so let's do that. Can you tell us about your squadron? The recruits who come here are the best. And in my squadron, they get even better. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. They're disciplined, rigorous and effective. Exactly what you'd expect from the best soldiers. Well, what I would like to know is why you need all these best soldiers in this hidden camp. What kind of training takes place in your ranks? Combat in natural settings. Combat against the savages' magic. Mm. I'm very curious about how you train against the magic the natives use. Now these are complex, secret maneuvers. I'm very sorry, but I can't tell you anymore. That's a pity. It would definitely be instructive. So again, he brought up the natives and how they are training against their magic. Now, as far as I understand, the only faction that is currently openly at war with the natives is the Bridge Alliance. The Telema are basically just trying to convert them, but they are not like in uh, open warfare with them. And neither is the Merchant Congregation, and not the Nords, obviously. So, has the Bridge Alliance something to do with this? That's what I would like to know. Um, yeah, let's talk about Reyna. I heard the recruit Reyna trained here. What can you tell me about him? Oh, he was a good one. He died a little while ago. So we've heard. Your captain told us he died during a maneuver. Can you tell us more? The training we do outside can be dangerous. Unfortunately, Rayner fell to his death in a ravine. He fell? Really? During a simulated ambush. I know, it's not glorious, but it happens. I'd like to get back to work now, if you'll allow it, Captain. Go on. We're gonna go talk to some of your recruits. <laughs> I hope that it won't take too long. We're all very busy here. We'll be quick, Lieutenant. The story about training against magic is a lie. This Lieutenant has no idea what he's talking about. So what could they be training recruits for here, then? I don't know. But whatever it is, I don't like it. So you think the part about training against magic is a lie? Well, one thing that certainly was a lie was about Rainier falling to his death because even in the official version he drowned so I guess somebody didn't get the memo huh and he told me the wrong cover-up story or something <laughs> um okay let's go down here and yeah I guess we can talk to a few more recruits soldier yes captain at ease we have some questions for you me at your orders captain so, uh, let's ask about the training again. You look exhausted. Is training that rough here? Uh, it's difficult at first, but you get through it. Taming fatigue. That's the key to it all. Haven't you ever wanted to stop? You've never doubted your vocation. I'm not a coward, not a weakling. The strength of the shadow. <laughs> what is that? Your motto? Our squadrons, Captain. So you have a shadow squadron as well? Um, well, let's uh, talk about your comrades. You seem concerned about your comrades. You keep looking at them. No, no, not at all. Are you afraid of what they might think of you? Absolutely not, Captain. We are all of one mind in this squadron. We are very united. Yeah, I keep hearing that. But what about Rayner? Since this is such a close-knit squadron, you must have known Rayner. 
Yes, of course. But he's not part of the squadron any longer. He left. Really? I don't know what you're trying to get me to say, Captain. Rayner left the squadron because he was sent on a mission. There's nothing more to say. Sorry, mate, but that's not what happened. I, I don't know <laughs> anything more. Thank you. That will be all. Thank you, madam. Captain. Lieutenants, report. Captain. Could you give us a few minutes and take us around the site? I've never been here before, and I'm curious to see what goes on. I'm not sure if we can, Captain. We are on duty, Captain. Right, Lieutenant. Let's go. <laughs> I... Are you coming with us? No, thank you. I'd rather stay here. Take in some fresh air. As you like. In that case, see you later. Okay, well, apparently Cod already took care of it and he uh, lured the instructors away. And yeah, I figured that I might have to uh, question this guy again. First of all, they mentioned specifically that he may know more than the rest. Plus, he's the only recruit that actually has a name, so he must be somehow special. Wilhelm, we need to talk. And don't worry, Captain Kurt will make sure your superior doesn't come this way. Why are you doing this? We didn't think you'd say anything as long as she was here. If you noticed, others will have too. They'll make me pay. Even more reason to talk. If we have proof, we can take action and close this camp. <sighs> Very well. What would you like to know? Well, uh, yeah, tell me what's really going on here. How about that? What's really going on here? We know that Reyna didn't die in an accident. This is supposed to be a training camp for the Guard's elite. Only the most talented recruits are allowed to join. This is an immense honor, an extraordinary chance. That's what we're told every day. But in reality, it's just hell. Okay, uh, could you elaborate? Tell me about the training you undergo here. It's more torture than anything else. We're constantly beaten and humiliated, and the slightest complaint only leads to more blows. They even push us to police one another, so we don't dare talk. Whatever the orders, we put our heads down, grit our teeth, and obey. It reminds me of the Ordo Luminous's interrogation hmm. methods. The poor buggers end up admitting to anything at all, excepting the unacceptable. I heard them tell you about the specialist training against the natives in hostile environments. But what they teach us would be more useful for assassins. Mm, yes. So, what is the ultimate purpose of this? As for Reyna, do you know what happened to him? Yes. One day he just couldn't stand it any longer. He disobeyed orders, he fought back, and people got hurt. That's when things blew up. They summoned him for night training. What does that entail? It doesn't have much to do with real training. They call us up for it at the last minute. The weakest serve as punching bags for the others, who are encouraged to beat them. If we refuse, we too become the targets. So we join in and strike. If you're hm. looking to punish Rain as murderer, you can start with me. We all have his blood on our hands. Thank you for telling us all of this. You should get back to your comrades. I hope you can do something. Have this camp closed. Otherwise, I'll soon be as dead as Rayner. We understand the risk you've taken. We won't let you down. Okay, well... Thank you. Really. That was truly fascinating. Captain. I've seen everything I needed to see. You can leave us. Yes, Captain. Shall we go? Yes, let's go. Um, this camp and this ghost regiment is more like a cult than an actual army. So I think we have um, discovered everything we can learn here. So let's leave this place. Kurt, Wilhelm has spoken. What did he tell you? He said the recruits go through hell. They are humiliated, spy on each other, get bullied. It's essentially torture. Rayner wouldn't stand for these methods. He rebelled and was summoned for night training. Are you sure he used that term? Yes. But he told me it's not really training. That recruits are summoned. And the others beat them. Sometimes to death. I know. You know about this kind of training? Yeah. I thought it was a thing of the past. What a monster. How dare he? 
I'm so sorry. I'm lost for words. Tell me, did you learn anything new? I scouted out the site. There's two parts of the barracks we should look at more closely. Rolf's quarters and the basement, which they refused to open for me. These people's methods are despicable. But we can't just charge into the fray. Innocent people could get hurt. What do you want to do, my son? Let's wait for nightfall. We'll sneak into the camp unseen, search the barracks, the private quarters, and then the basement. We might also try to find out where this night training takes place. Yes. I wouldn't want other young recruits to lose their lives tonight. Especially Wilhelm. Okay. So, apparently we have already waited until night. That's actually kind of convenient. Although I would really like to talk to Kurt again, because apparently something like this has happened before. So, why don't you tell me more about that? Um, yeah, we have two doors over here that I need to reach. Not sure if we have any soldiers or recruits in the vicinity. And maybe I should turn off my light. I mean, I'm supposed to be stealthy. Strange. There's no one left in this part of the camp. Maybe they're in the combat pit behind the barracks. I saw it when I visited the camp. Or they've already left for their night training. Well, that would be good for us, I suppose. Let's find Rolf's office. He surely has the key to the basement. Okay. Let's look around a bit. And well, if there's no one around, I probably don't have to sneak, right? Okay, I'm not seeing anything here. Oh, what is this? Night training order. All recruits who receive this note are summoned to Soldier Wilhelm's night training. Oh, now he has night training. This training is not optional. You are expected at 10 p.m. on the forest trail north of the camp. Should a recruit not attend his training, they will be subject to the next training. Oh dear, so, so now they want to do the same thing to him as well. Well, uh, let's check upstairs first. Because apparently we need a key for the basement. Okay, can't see anything in here. Ah, here we go. Key to the torture chamber! <laughs> they are really very straightforward with their names here. Letter from the commander. Captain Rolf, congratulations for the work you have done. You have perfectly fulfilled your mission so far and several of your ghost recruits have already accessed positions close to the governors as planned. Major Herman has informed me that you have suffered some casualties, but nothing sus susceptible of changing our plans. Continue on this path and we should be ready to act shortly. So they have access position close to the governors. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think this has nothing to do with the natives at all. This letter is disturbing, Kurt. It confirms that several deaths have been disguised in order to keep this camp secret. But it says that the recruits trained here have been assigned to governors from different cities. And yet I'm sure that Constantine knows nothing about these elite units. The conclusion of the letter also confirms that the commander is pleased with what's been going on here. So Torsten knew. So it seems. Including about the deaths. He's gone too far. He dishonors us all. Sieglinde was right. Okay, um, so how can we stop this? Letter from Major Herman. Captain Rolf, your recruits arrived in San Mateos and perfectly fulfill our expectations. I would not have expected anything less from one of your my best students. I made sure that the commander knew what a good job you did in your ghost camp. I have no doubt that he will know how to reward you. 
If the recruits we sent to the other cities are just as efficient, you will be major soon. Hmm. Okay. So basically, they are training these recruits, almost like brainwashing them with these torture camps, and then they send them to serve near the governors of all the cities. Now, my guess is that maybe they're planning some kind of takeover. Why else would they want to be near the governors, right? This is very disconcerting. Anyway, we have the key to the torture chamber, which um, apparently is somewhere down here. Okay, this is just an empty cell. But I can use the key here. This room. What could have happened in here? I know this smell only too well. Fear, blood, death. The Ordo Luminous would surely envy such hmm. a place if they knew it existed. Well, it's literally called the torture chamber. What do you think has happened here? So, I guess... These didn't survive their training, quote-unquote. Um, well, anything else we can gather in this place. This actually looks a lot like the room that we saw in the headquarters of the Order Luminous. As a matter of fact, it looks exactly the same. Apparently, um, they have the same <laughs> interior architect that the guy who made that torture chamber. Formation report. Captain, we have trained the new recruits as instructed. However, some of them seem to have a hard time with a lack of sleep. So they were sent so they were sent back. They were sent to the black room to be toughened up. We suffered a casualty, but the experience was very successful and even though they came out slightly weakened, they were much more cooperative afterwards. This document explains a lot. They torture the soldiers to break them. Raina shows up on this list more than once. He gave them a lot of problems. Those who resist too much are lynched during night training. Rolf, you'll pay for this. Kurt, Wilhelm's name was added to tonight's training. These monsters want to make him pay for the help he gave us. The poor child will probably not survive. We can't let them kill him. We must stop this training immediately. The risk is that Rolf will ambush us. If this boy dies because of us, I will never forgive myself. Yeah, I agree. We should uh, try to help Wilhelm if we can. Save recruit Wilhelm from his nightly punishment. I have picked up everything in here. Yes, I do. Okay, in that case, let's leave. I refuse to let these recruits pay for the bastards who manipulate them. Let's avoid spilling blood in vain. These children are victims, yes. But they are armed victims. Are you sure they'll spare us in return? They're just kids. There has to be a way to reason with them. We'll do what we can, Kurt. I can't promise anything more. Okay, so we need to find them. Safe recruit Wilhelm from his nightly punishment. Arrest Captain Rolf. Huh. Um, I feel that this is maybe a little bit more important, so maybe I should do this first and then we will go and arrest Rolf. But yeah, let's uh, make sure that nothing happens to Wilhelm, I suppose. And this seems to be the way that I need to go. And I'm supposed to try to reason with the other recruits. So hopefully my charisma will help me out in this situation. Or oh, whatever I need for this discussion. Despite what Wilhelm told me, I wasn't expecting this. On, He's getting the destroyed. The They'll kill him. The we can't Come let on, them get away with dare. it. Okay, well... Maybe I have to fight them after all. Stop! 
We won't let you kill this boy like you killed Rayner. Soldiers! Do you realize what you're doing? Captain? But... You shouldn't be here. This time, you won't get away with it. Tams! Um, okay, well, um... I have two options now. Well, three, I can attack, but that's exactly what we want to avoid, right? And I'm going to assume both of them would definitely work. Charisma or intuition. But I like to use my charisma because I like to hear Athena making grand speeches. When my master of arms was in the guard, he always repeated, fight with honor. What honor is there in lynching one of your own when he's defenseless? What honor is there in being forced to kill one another the moment one of you refuses to toe the line? None. Good speech. We followed orders. Nothing more. You've been manipulated. But it's not too late to refuse all of this, to act with honor. You're right, Captain. It's over, Lieutenant. We will no longer beat our own. Imbeciles. Traitors. Hmm. Oh, oh, um, I, I have to fight after all. Oh, it's the instructor. I guess she was not impressed with my charisma. Will you be all right? I'm wounded, but I'll survive. Thanks to you. I'm eternally grateful. Come, Wilhelm. We'll help you get home. We owe you that at least. I'm counting on you to bring him back to the camp in one piece. Yes, Captain. Well then, let's go. We can't let that vermin Rolf escape us. Right. We still need to uh, arrest the captain, Captain Rolf. So he's back in the camp. Um, and I think this is the way let's back. Let's hope that Rolf didn't hear the sounds of combat. Surprise is our best ally. You're right. Let's try to approach discreetly. Oh, you want me to be discreet? All right. I guess I'll do that, uh, at least as soon as I'm back at the camp. So, let's go into stealth. And I mean, I'm still uh, supposed to avoid casualties among the recruits, so I hope I don't run into any of them. Um, let's see, how would I do this? I guess I can go through the building again, that's how I got here in the first place, right? I mean, we have a door over here. Is this a way I should use? Um, well, maybe not. I think I like the way through the building better. Unless, of course, there's actually people inside the building now, but why should there? There weren't any a few minutes ago. Um, well, I'm not sure if these are... No, these are not real people. <laughs> They're just dummies. Right, uh... And yes, uh, the other door is actually downstairs, I remember. Over here, I think? Um, yeah, this one, okay. And I hope that this will get me a little bit closer to my target. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Ooh, but now we do have some people here. And presumably they are recruits and not all instructors, right? So I need to be careful. Um, well... I can see some people walking around, but... The question is, which of them is Rolf? Is it this guy? <laughs> what I could use here is an eagle vision. I mean, he seems to be more in this direction, so... I don't think I'm going the right way here. Um, oh, but I think I need to go through that gate over there. So maybe this is the right direction. 
Okay. I'm actually not sure how far they can see. So I hope I can just sneak past them like this. Okay, um... He seems to be, like, really close. Oh, I think he's on the other side of this wall. Um... Okay. Can I climb up here to reach him? That may actually be the way I'm supposed to go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think this this is it. Okay. Nobody saw us. All we have to do is ambush them in the pit. Okay. Let's do it, Kurt. So the question is, can I just attack these people? These are all instructors. I mean, there's really no way to stay hidden anymore. It's an open arena, so Rolf, you let's how just go you down here. Of this disgrace? You know that this is how the best soldiers are made. Soldiers, grab your weapons! Death to the traitors! Stop! Soldiers, are you really going to obey these scoundrels? Do I need to remind you of the guard's motto? Where is your honor? I won't repeat myself, recruits. Execute these traitors! Soldiers, listen to your captain. You are the victims of these monsters, and we are here to save you. We're doing our best to avoid a fight, to spare your lives. Well, what do you want us to do? We have orders, and we know what will happen to us if we don't obey. Enough! To arms! Attack! Okay, let's see. I have a few options again. My charisma is actually not enough for 100% in this case. Promise them clemency if they surrender. Not enough intuition. Mention saving Wilhelm. Yeah, that might help me. Um, I don't know. Let's let's pick this option. It was nearly Wilhelm's turn tonight. It could have been any of you. A lies. Only the weak fall. So we must prove that we aren't among them. Nonsense. I've seen more combat than any of you, and I've seen hundreds of soldiers die, weak or not. I've seen this kind of camp before, full of torture and sadistic officers. I thought it was a thing of the past, but I was wrong. So help me make sure this camp really is the last of them. You... you're right, Captain. Yes. If we don't put down our weapons, this will never end. Congratulations, hey, work, Lieutenant. You've trained cowards. Their training wasn't finished, Captain. And the speeches were so convincing. <laughs> Silence! Where is this second squadron? Should have been here a long time ago. They're not coming, Rolf. They surrendered too. It would appear that your training methods aren't very effective. Now that you no longer have lackeys to send after us, Rolf, you'll have to get your own hands dirty. I've dreamt of shutting that big mouth of yours up for <laughs> so long. Okay, so I guess we're going to have a fight after all here. But not a very difficult one. Look at all your elite training here. You can barely stand up to me at all. So, um, I guess I will have to leave now again and then maybe later I can talk to Kurt again about what just happened. But yeah, this was again a pretty interesting quest. I mean, what this game lacks in polish at some times, it certainly makes up for with interesting stories. So I do enjoy this. But yeah, I think uh, the episode is long enough now. So um, let's uh, make a cut here. And we will uh, follow this up in the next episode by uh, talking to Kurt again and hear his thoughts on this. And then we might actually do another companion quest. So yeah, as usual, uh, thank you for watching and see you again next time.